this camp since we won at Rigondeau going up against Giovanni Delgado. 17 and 1 for Rigondeau and nine knockouts for Delgado. The veteran against Rigondeau in his first professional year and to the ring we go with Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, the action continues here at the Microsoft Theater here in Los Angeles as we are now set for eight rounds in the Super Bantamweight Division. The three judges scoring this contest at ringside will be Eddie Hernandez Sr., Dr. Lou Moret, and Zachary Young. And the referee in charge when the bell sounds is Jack Reese. Introducing first, fighting to my right, out of the red corner, he comes in wearing the black and the green, weighing in officially at 128 pounds. His record, 19 wins, seven losses, two bouts, even hailing from Tacubaya, Distrito Federal, Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, aquí está Giovanni Delgado. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. This Olympic gold medalist enters the ring wearing the red and the white. His record, 17 wins, 11 of those coming by way of knockout against one blemish. Fighting out of Miami, Florida by way of Santiago de Cuba. He is the former world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting it. Guillermo El Chacal Rigondo. And your referee in charge, Jack Reese. Funny, these are a little bit high. I'm going to let them work okay. right in here. Mapis? Mapis? Okay. Play duro, play limpio, toco lo mano, buena suerte. Rigondo said he don't take no time off in between fights. He's been fighting as a professional since 2009. Talked about uh, his counterattack, his natural hand speed, instinctive for him, and expects to show a lot of that early. Well, you know, Rigondo has been considered one of the most proficient ah! amateurs of all time in Olympic uh, sports along with Lomachenko and a few other, other fighters. So he's very proficiently sound, technically sound. The, the, the knock on him is he never really picked it up the pace, you know, close the show when he needed to. He got a big power puncher. Now he's got a new trainer, Ronnie Shields. And Ronnie's gonna teach him the, the, the change to the professional game. He did have three fights with Freddie Roach. He talked about that experience. And happy to be part of Premier Boxing Champions, PBC. He said, nobody hides here. Everybody has to fight everybody, and he's glad to have his chance. Well, you can see right now, he's just standing more flat for me. He's, you know, I've never seen him fight like this, even this, this early in a fight. I think he, he places his punches perfectly. He's accurate with his punches, and he places them right where they need to be at the right time. The grand is not getting much opposition right here. He's got to, you know, Delgado's going to come to throw something at him, but but I like how he's walking him down. It's something different for uh, Rigondeau. Oh, good right hand, good right hand on the from Delgado. And one of the reasons you caught him is because uh, Rigondeau, when he throws his left hand, he just drops it a little bit low, a little bit low, keeps it in front of his face instead of on the side of his face. Left hand of the body by Rigondeau. Delgado working an exchange. He, uh, Delgado said he's, you know, one his favorite fighter. You know, coming up, he was, he, Rigondeau was his favorite fighter, so maybe he knows some things that we don't know, but we'll see. Uh, he's fighting right now. Yeah, Delgado, 11 years younger than Guillermo Rigondeau. Scheduled for eight. This is the first. And there's the shot. Five shots. Rigondeau adds that. And again, you can see that's Ronnie Shields teaching him that. Because Rigondeau never went to the body before. It was always a, a, a boxer jab to the head, jab to the head, moved around. Ronnie's teaching him the pro game, the transition to the pro game. The pro game is the hurting game. You gotta be able to hurt people. Got an uppercut that missed on the last exchange, but the body shot landed. 
The left from the lefty, the southpaw. Rigado in the red and white inside 20 seconds in round one. Super bantamweight bout. The 120 pound range. The second of our five fights scheduled here at the Microsoft Theater live from downtown Ooh. Los Angeles. So right before he's down. Oh, Rigado with a shot. Just before the bell ended round one. Ocho, nueve, diez. See it. Round one is over. The fight is over. Fight him with an overhand left right on the button. Right at the bell. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell or under the California state rules. And before you could blink. Rigando landed his best shot of the night, and it was the finisher. He was. Guillermo Rigando working on Giovanni Delgado in the opening round, and there it was. Referee Jack Reese stepping in and counting him out. Rigando with his 18th win. We're live here in Los Angeles, Premier Boxing Champions on FS1. Welcome to uh, Knockout Sunday. And our second fight ends in a hurry. First round knockout, Guillermo Rigando takes care of Giovanni Delgado. Well, that's, you know, that's Rigando training with Ronnie Shields. Ronnie Shields, let him sit down in your punches, throw more power punches. And, and he's changed it. He's changed him as a fighter and I like I look forward to see what comes up Definitely, I think he set him up for that big left hand because he tried to throw it early and he got caught with a, a right hand himself So he landed it this time and it put him out the voices of Anthony Durrell who is a super middleweight You'll see him fighting later on an FS1 card in February along with Ray Mancini Chris Myers Let's head back to our ring announcer and Ray Florence Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at three minutes of round one for your winner by knockout, the former world champion, Guillermo El Chacon.